Hello friends, welcome to my next video tutorial of industrial steel shed building main and double frame analysis and design in Start Pro V8i and in this particular video tutorial series I am doing two dimensional frame analysis for both main and gable frame as per my this drawing you can see here this is my main frame and this one is my gable frame and this is my roof layout plan you can see this is my ridge line and these are the raptor and also I have some bracing and this red line is the purlin and you can see in this elevation the purlin is at 1.1 meter apart and I have a C purlin here in this plant and first I am going to show you how to do complete analysis and design of this main frame then I will show you how to do this one the gable frame so to start this video open your restart pro program and from here select this new project and I'm doing two dimensional that's why I select plan and here the in length unit is meter and kilonewton click next yes then check this add beam then finish and close this window from this right side so if I see here in my main frame section here I have a column center to center outline uh, 30.76 meter from here in this uh, box right zero then click here just below that and you can see a black dot has been drawn here which is node and from here this left side icon list you can see here this one is the node cursor to select any node you have to use this one the last one is beam cursor to select beam use this one the third one is plate cursor to select any plate you have to use this one and last this one is the surface cursor to select any surface you have to use this one so here are also a solid cursor and geometry cursor mainly we are using the first three cursor in our work so to select this node I have to take this node cursor first then drag your mouse this way to select this node and as I have 30.07 meter center to center from your keyboard hold down the control key then press C and keep holding your control key press V and now you, it will show you the pace to it move to draw this node along X direction put here the value is I have the unit here meter this should be 30.076 then press OK just zoom in you can see there are two nodes now now I want to draw a beam between these two nodes. Go to here. This is the this one, which is the add beams. So to add any beam between two nodes, you have to take this one add beams, pick this node, then pick this node. Now the beam has been drawn. Now select this one. I have a clear height of this frame is six meters. Select this one. Take this one transitional repeat or you can also um, press ctrl c ctrl v i'm just doing this way transitional repeat from here i have to go to here along this cursor uh, this uses you can see vertical y select this one y and i have this is six meter and i can say link step and number of steps should be one press ok and now delete the bottom one ok select this one then insert node from here at midpoint ok delete this right side portion yes ok and now you can see here in my drawing I have a slope of this chapter 1 is 1 by 10 so if I go horizontal 10 I have to go vertical 1 so if I double click on this I can see I have I have 15.038 meter length so take this node cursor select this node and right click move I have to go vertically Y and this should be 1.5 meter so if I use 1 is to 10 slope then as per my this raptor length I have to go 1.5 meter then ok yes ok now go to here if I want to draw this half of this raptor I have first 3 meter so take this beam cursor select this one click this insert node command and here i have three meter and click here add new point okay now you can see a node at three meter length has been 
drawn now select this one again i have another three meter the same way right three here add new point okay and next i have the middle of this raptor is 6.72 meter select this third one go to here again this should be 6.7 add new point okay done and the rest one should be 2.41 almost so i have this portion as a rest of 2.75 okay now select this whole portion of this model and go to here generate mirror take this command and it is asking for save save this model click save as write the name main save at your convenience place and name it as a main frame analysis okay and now take this generate mirror command again click this icon here node on plan and click this top node here and i have to go as per this image you can see i have to go along yz plan so yz is by default selected now just click ok now you can see the same portion has been mirrored to the other um, right side ok now to define the member size you have to go to here general and then from here go to define and here i am using build up section if you have hot roll section you can also use hot roll section by going to here section database and from here you can see a list of various codes and also various member size as for various codes so from here you can pick any size see if i want to pick w shape i have to select here this one then add and close now the w5 into 16 has been added here if i want to use now i can use from here just selecting this one and delete okay so i'm using build up section here that's why i have to go to where define then this tapper one and here you can see a image of what you are inputting here this is the start depth of section at start node first i am taking a size for this tapered column so i have this is 0.3 at the bottom and thickness of web will be say 0 0.008 weight is 8 mm then at the end i have 0 0.6 is 600 mm which is the tapered then width of the top length say 250 is 250 mm then thickness of top length is say 0 1 is 10 mm and you can skip this two value and if you want to input this two value you can use this same value here to here but i am not using this same value it will decrease the time of your modeling so click here add so i have drawn this one then i have to draw this tapered raptor here and while drawing tapered raptor you have the same size of the column i mean the width of the maximum here this part i have this um, so width of this column here should be the width of this raptor here so i'm just keeping that just 08 changing this add this is my next raptor and now for the middle raptor i have the same with similar width which is 300 300 then 8 say this is 6 8 add then i have a tapper raptor here again i can say this is 50 56 okay add so i have defined all the this column this raptor this raptor and also this half of this raptor when your uh, all column size definition is done then click here close now select this one and select this column and this column from here check assign to selected beams click here assign yes the column has been assigned now press shift plus k to display the node here now select this second one for the raptor select this raptor and this raptor then click assign yes third one select this raptor and this raptor this raptor this raptor assign okay select this one and i have this is for my top raptor assign okay now go to here this icon which is symbols and labels from here is structure full section apply okay now you can check if your size definition is okay now you can see this first chapter has a reverse size so i have to go to here this second one and i have to change this to 0.6 this should be 0.3 change close 
okay now you can see the size definition is perfect right now as per the shape of my this drawing okay from this left side menu go to here support and go to create and I have this is my pin support here select this pin then add select this one and take this node cursor and select this node and also this node now make sure you have assigned to selected nodes now assign yes okay so my model definition is done now I have to define for the load go to here from this left side menu here load and definition select this one load case details then add from here I am just defining two load case one is DL under none loading type add another one is LL add close under this DL I have to first add cell point which is factor minus one along Y then add close select this one cell point Y minus one and from here check this assign to view then assign yes so the cell point is now counting as per my this load definition as per my current building code I have a live load of 0.63 km per meter square for my this industrial loop shed and here 0.25 kN per meter square is dead load the dead load is for the weight of raptor and the purlin and other bracing at the roof so I am assigning this and I have the main base main base spacing of 6 meter and double base spacing is 6.01 meter so if I multiply this base spacing with this load I have 3.7 kN per meter is live load and 1.5 kN per meter is my dead load so I am going to here select this dead load then click add go to here member load and under uniform force you have to define this is minus 1.5 is my dead load which should be along gy add close select this ll click add again member load uniform force minus 3.75 gy add close okay now select this dead load and select this all raptors and assign to selected beams check this one then assign yes select this one ll and assign to selected beams assign yes okay so assigning of dead load and live load is done now i have to assign for wind load to assign wind load go to select this one load case detail add same way define here i have a wind load at uh, two direction you can see here this is my wind load calculation and as per my this image the wind load will be acting in this main frame I have this is windward wall this is windward roof this is leeward roof this is leeward wall when the wind is going as per this icon and when the wind will go from the opposite direction I have the same load but this will be just inverse this value will be here this value will be here and this value will be here so I can do that going to here I have to define two load case which is WL L to R I can say left to right add and WR to L right to left add close uh, so for my this WLR I have to add load here go to here add then member load and under uniform force if I see here I have X this should be GX and I have a load for my this windward wall is 7.6 kN per meter add next I have a raptor load of 5.8 5.8 this is along local y so it will be vertical along this raptor so this is local y add next I have leeward roof the value is 4.3 and this is also local y add next one is for leeward wall 2.9 this is along gy add close same way I have to define this is wrl right to left select this one add I have the same value as per this one member force I have this and this should be minus 7.6 gx add next one is 5.8 local y add then 4.3 local y add then this is minus 2.9 this is gy gx add close 
now select this one which is left to right so this is my windward wall select this first load then select this column check here assign to selected beams assign ok select the next load select all the disruptor of this windward uh, roof assign yes next load select this leeward roof raptor assign yes the, uh, select this leeward wall load select this column assign ok go to WRL select this this first load then select this column assign to selected beams assign yes now select the next load select this one assign to selected beams assign yes select the third load select all these raptors assign yes select the fourth load select this column ok done save the model now define the load combination to define load combination here select this load case details add form here define combination and as per my this my local code I have a load combination of dead load and live load so dl plus ll right here the name dead load plus live load select from here this one control this one dead load and live load and the default factor should be one as i am going to do this as per asd code click this right arrow to shift the load from here to here now click add next i have dl plus wl to r so select dl l to r click this icon add same way i have dl then w r to l select this one this one click this icon add close so i have this three load combinations here as per my local code and i am doing this as per asd code aisc that's why i have three if you have any other code you might have more load combination so as per your desired code you have to d define your load combination here so I am ending the first part of this video tutorial series and in the next video I will show you how to analyze this model after checking and then how to do design as per AISC ASD code. So thanks for watching my this video. See you in the next video.